is I'm going to be using a eight millimeter crochet hook and as you can see this is a different crochet hook to the ones you normally see me use so it's a much bigger crochet hook and I'm also going to be using some super bulky or super chunky and this is a lovely yarn this is actually um, called Faro yarn uh, I don't think I've got the label with me anymore but it's actually made of acrylic cotton and some wool as well so it's a really lovely mix and um, we're also going to be needing some scissors and a yarn needle find my yarn needle so there we go oh and we're also going to need some rope so we're also going to be needing some rope and this rope is about how thick is this rope it's about half an inch thick but we're actually going to be using three strands of this to crochet around. I've cut a length here which is about 42 inches long and this wraps around my, um, what I did is I wrapped it around my shoulders and then I let go of one shoulder and then brought it in just a little bit so it creates a big circle, big loops. If you imagine that over first of all both my shoulders and then dropping it off one shoulder and then just bringing it in a little bit that's about the length we're looking for um, but for me it's sort of average lady size um, that's what I've measured about 40 to 42 inches and we're going to do that three times we want three lots of this um, three lots of this uh, rope remember what it's called so I'm gonna done my first measurement and I'm just going to measure out let's move this yarn out of the way so measured up the next one and I'm going to cut so this rope's quite soft which is nice I just picked this up from uh, my local hardware store no way fun so I'm going to do that three times and the reason we're using rope is because if you know the Katniss cow, at the top it's got some wrap around sort of stitches at the top. And um, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using rope, three lots of rope, and we're going to wrap, we're going to crochet around this rope basically. And what I'm going to try first is I've actually measured 40 inches, which is the, the length that I wanted, plus 2 inches. I've got 42 inches in total. And that's so that I can leave an inch of rope either end of my crochet stitch. Let's put our three pieces of rope together. So I'm going to start this end. And it's a good idea to try and make the um, keep the rope in a triangular form we want this uh, wrap around stitching at the beginning to be quite circular so I've placing the the three ropes together like that which will hopefully create more of a circular stitch but all I've done there is I just undo that is I've wrapped it round the tail end there and then I've wrapped this round so imagine these are your fingers really like we start the slip knot cross that over then go under the first piece of yarn then grab the second and bring that up like so and what you're going to be working in the opposite direction so making sure your rope is facing this way we are now going to start crocheting around the rope so making sure that's fairly tight but a little bit loose so we can still move the rope around but we're going to put our hook underneath our rope and grab from the other side, bring it up like so. Trying to keep it as loose as we can. I imagine I'm going to get through a fair bit of yarn for this, and then I'm just going to do a single crochet as normal. So there we go, that's our first stitch around the rope. And again, we just go underneath the yarn, grab our yarn uh, underneath the rope, and grab the yarn. Then bring that up, keeping it quite loose, don't want to make it too tight, and then just yarn over and pull through the next, and just move those down 
like so. And if you're familiar with the Katniss cow, you can start to see that looks like the top of the Katniss cow. We've got some stitches to work with there. So all we do is we're just literally going underneath the rope, hooking the yarn that we're working with, bringing that up, keeping it nice and loose, like so. Then just working yarn over, pull through both loops to do a normal single crochet. Then we're just bunching it down, like so, and that's working quite well, I'm quite pleased. I'm just going to repeat this all the way along our rope. We've left about an inch here. So we go. Just repeating that round, just doing those single crochets and just bunching them along so there's no gaps, things so you can't see the rope at all. And the great thing is, is we've got some stitches here that when we do, we're going to do this um, about three times. Um, this crocheting round rope, um, but we're going to do it three times, but these stitches here allow us to connect them together Which is good So just keep doing this to the end. So I'm just going to repeat crocheting around this rope Just going underneath the rope grabbing the yarn and yarn over doing a normal single crochet So you go under the rope grab that yarn pull it round and do a single crochet as normal. So I'm going to do that to the end and then I'll come back and see what we can do next. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I've just got to the other end and I've left about an inch or so either end. So this is about 40 inches and I just need to make sure, you just want to make sure, you don't want to do too many stitches that they're tight together, but you want to do enough you're actually covering the rope and you haven't got gaps like like that. I'm just going to make sure that all our stitching is facing in the same direction so it's not all twisted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to, before I join, I'm just going to measure out because you want to do three lots of these sort of snake shapes. So I'm going to measure out another six going to be six isn't it another six lengths of rope that the same length so about 42 inches long so I'm just going to do that and then I shall come back okay let's get some more rope okay so I've got a couple of stitches left but before I finish up on the couple of stitches I'm going to do what I did last time and um, just sew the uh, the rope ends together so making sure that your what you've done so far is nice and even so you might want to just pull in your pull in your rope a little bit and what we're going to do is just trim back and trim some of these edges off to begin And then making sure these, because what I'm actually going to do is have them overlap very, very slightly rather than have them flush like I did last time. So that's uh, something that I probably prefer adapting. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I can use all these remaining scraps for stuffing in the future if I wanted to. So they won't go to waste. Then we want to get some tail end, which I've actually still got some here so I'm gonna take split one of these off there we go I'm taking some yarn similar colored yarn or a strand of the yarn you're using I'm just going to connect them one by one so so I might make that one a little bit shorter And my yarn needle, just bring that through and then through this one. So each one together. I 
like I said, it doesn't have to be neat sewing because it's all going to be hidden on the inside. So, just do your best. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to sew these together, these three individually. There we go. Okay, so we've done one, and then take the next one. That's still a bit long, so I'll trim that one down a bit as well. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna disconnect or anything. I'm just gonna go straight into the next one. Connect those. Sew those two together. Certainly looking quite futuristic. This design. I quite quite like it. I say so myself. Sometimes I design things that uh, I think you guys might like, but I wouldn't wear myself or isn't my style and stuff. I like to try. I like to try different things because I don't just want to do what I always like because other other people might not like it. And it's nice to do a variety, cater for a variety of tastes. Okay, so I've sewn that one together a little bit, and then the last two. Let's just connect those as well. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, when you've sewn those together, it's going to feed through back to the front. Take the yarn off the needle and then we're just going to, with our beginning tail end, we're just going to tie that in a double knot, like so, and then we're going to trim the excess. And I might just trim some of the rope off at the top there, it's a bit too fluffy. Stop there, before I slip stitch to join the round and just wrap around some yarn to hide the remaining. So I'm just going to get some more same coloured yarn. Not going to get as much as last time. Get our yarn needle. And I'm just going to go through and keeping our yarn, yarn we're working with over that side. Just going to bring this through, she says. Oh, it's already stuck. Right, there we go. Just bring that through the gap in between there. Oh, don't pull that one. Stay over there. I want to pull this one properly coloured. It's going to look properly now. Leave about that much and then bring that over. I'm going to wrap, start wrapping that round. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to carry on doing this until I've covered up the rest of the tail ends of the rope. And then I'm just going to slip stitch to join. So I'm going to do this and I'll come back. Right, okay, so I've wrapped that round a few times. And then I'm just going to, on the inside, just tie that in a double knot. And the great thing about my yarn choice is that any flecks of the white of the rope showing through don't look too bad um, because it looks quite sort of 
marley anyway, even when there's no no rope showing. So, um, so that's okay. So I just tied that in a double knot. If you've got any, any bits showing, then I'll just hide those tail ends on the inside. Then, so I'll do that afterwards. Because then what we're going to do now is we bring back the yarn we're working with. And then we're just going to slip stitch in the top of, probably going to slip stitch just around here I'd say, just that stitch there, just bring that over, there we go. I think at the beginning it's probably best to chain four and then slip stitch in the top of your four chain is probably best. And now what we need to do is work in our next, our next rope. So we're going to take three of our rope lengths again. One, two, and three. Let's put the other, the other three aside for now. Okay, and again, making sure they're facing this direction, then uh, I'm going to make sure they're sort of lined up into a triangular shape. I'm going to place those on top. And the idea now is I'm just going to chain one to get us a bit of leverage. That's better. And we're going to go into the next stitch you hook through the next stitch but we're going to be working around our rope so what you want to do is I'm going to pull the yarn through the stitch pull the yarn through the stitch first and before we yarn over and finish our single crochet we're going to do that over you want to leave a little bit that's the beginning, so I want to leave a little bit of uh, about an inch or so of um, rope at the end. And before we finish our single crochet, we're going to do over the yarn and we're going to pull the yarn through to finish our single crochet. Doing that over the top of our rope, so it looks like thus. And then we're going to go into the next stitch, grab our yarn from there. Pull it through, bring it up, and then yarn over and work your single crochet, wrapping the yarn around the rope like so. Okay, so we're just going to continue in this way, putting our hook into the next stitch, and then the yarn, grabbing the yarn, putting it through the stitch, and then wrapping up, wrapping it around the rope, and then finishing our single crochet and hopefully we shouldn't end up with any gaps because all the stitches below should should mean we haven't got any gaps showing the rope I'm just going to repeat this all the way around for every stitch just going through the stitch grabbing the yarn from the other side and putting it through and putting up and then finishing our single crochet like so. This will create our second layer of our Katniss cow variation. So yeah, so I'm going to repeat that around for every single stitch back to the beginning and then I'm going to uh, trim these down, sew them together and then see how we get on with that. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that and then I'll come back. And this, where we're working into these stitches, we actually turn this upside down. This is going to be the top of our cowl. This is going to be the top. And now we're going to start working on the shoulder parts like so. So we've finished using our, our rope. So there we go. Cheers for watching. Bye.